Alrighty. Um, what is uh, the Arizona Equestrian Resort? And what, where am I going with it? And what benefit is it going to provide for my viewers? Okay, so what I'm doing is, um, well, a little bit about me, is I am a career displaced horse trainer. I moved to Arizona. It seemed like the right career move at the time. Um, it actually was at a time that tax laws changed in regard to livestock and a lot of horse farms got sold off and turned into subdivisions. Um, so I started driving for a living and I drove for a discount cab and I got involved with MLMs and I drove for discount cab and I worked at biz up sales jobs and I sold credit cards and did foreclosure counseling and um, did all these things m making a living and trying to find all these ways that I could get the money to have my dream horse farm and raise two kids in the middle of it. Um, I've been driving all these years. You know, I love the second career. If I couldn't ride eight horses a day, I was happy to be driving eight. Um, we drove Crown Vic Interceptors. They were awesome. Um, and, uh, you know, I've done some other things in between. Uber killed my my industry. They just, like, kind of came in and put 4,000 drivers out of work. And uh, we're still hanging on here. And it's time to get out. Stuff is too controversial. They're not paying us what we're supposed to be paid. I am 56 years old. Um, I have decided what I want to do with the rest of my life. I made this mistake of getting involved with one more MLM trip because I thought, oh, this is what's happening in my industry. Um, I've overcome all my personal issues so that I can now have the mindset, um, to do this. And why not? I might as well just, like, do it, put off getting my land and get the money from this to get my land and no 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 that did not work I'm done with that I'm doing it now and um I'm a little bit undecided what actually um where I, I I'm pretty sure I know where I'm gonna end up but I'm gonna make sure along the way that I don't want an in you know a, um a more commercial facility closer into central phoenix um i'm looking at properties i'm looking at prices and what i can get for how much um but ultimately i'm looking for a, ve a very large piece of acreage that is remote that can be a sanctuary of sorts um as far as uh, what I would like to have happen on the land is, um, initially I want to, uh, use salvage materials and pipe corral, uh, to create an infrastructure of a pen structure, you know, an offload paddock into individual covered pens with runs, into a round pen, into a bigger pasture area that's all all self-contained in the middle of this beauty, beautiful scenic property where anyone from anywhere in the world or any walk of life can come and participate in the Mustang Heritage Foundation uh, TIP challenge um, in a setting where there is structure and supervision and education. Um, and I, it's going to be in like a very like a camping setting. Uh, I 
want to begin to build innovative um, minimalist housing structures on the property and over time as these are built um, people can stay in these places or they can stay in an RV um, this type of land available in Arizona is is zone that it's okay for RVs. Um, I would like to be able to host RV select uh, small numbers of RVers for um, you know periods of time who want to come and participate in this kind of stuff and you know maybe help with the building um, and some of the home projects. Uh, some of the things that. I would like to potentially do is hold a Cobb home workshop on the property so there's lots of stuff um, and I also want a location where I can bring OTB uh, OTTBs um, from turf um, can can bring them home give them the summer off um, and then rehome them as RRP prospects. And there are possible grants that are available to do this. Um, basically, I am hoping to um, have a little help from some friends, but I am willing to bust my ass to use the rest of the time I'm working driving for Uber and Lyft and make whatever I can make to get here. Um, you know, I, I'm hoping that maybe I can exchange um, campsites for help with um, the building processes. Um, so, I just, this is just awesome. Because ultimately, I have had my criteria for what my dreams had to look like. And I've had to reframe what it looks like to get what I want um, and put it, move it from like a New England setting to um, an Arizona desert setting. And that was really hard. Um, it was also really hard to accept the way that horses can be kept economically out here um, with pipe corral and covered and, and covered covered runs um, compared to how horses are kept back east. Uh, so another thing was I can't have everything brand new. And yeah, there is are tons of reclaimed materials that are available people are breaking down old fencing and old you know old old structures and they're you know it's all over craigslist um that's definitely an option recycling and reclaiming all of the building materials and using local stuff um i ideally would like a parcel that has timber um and meadow or prairie, I don't know what they really call it here, and an above ground water source of some sort, like a creek or a stream or a pond or something that is above ground, which is going to be kind of tough in Arizona, and it's probably going to like add another twenty or thirty thousand dollars onto the price. Um, and I'm just guessing that I don't, based on basic overall ads I've been looking for at those kind of parcels. Um, their ranch parcels um so yeah i'm really excited um and hopefully it looks like mondays are going to be my cruising days to go look at land and start to get to know certain areas and see what, what's going on there um because this is this is the end of the line um this is my final resting place and it's got to be exactly what's going to work. Um, so, all right, we're getting on 10 minutes. That's perfect. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and uh, hit the bell if you'd like updates. Thank you.